Technology has always seemed to have improved jobs for the United States. Now with automation on the way, it is not. As I was reading A World Without Work by Derek Funk, Bumson, he brought up many interesting topics like how technology is replacing jobs and the paradox of work, which I will be referencing in a later slide. Um, I also read Nixon's Labor Day speech, which talks about how work shouldn't dehumanize, how technology shouldn't dehumanize work and instead help people. This led me to my research question, which is to what extent is technology going too far when, when it begins to replace Jobs. All right. We live in a time where technology is growing at an exponential rate. Enough, soon enough, automation will start to replace jobs and start to change the economy. Technology is going too far when it starts to replace jobs because the economic structure is changing, people are losing their purpose, and, this, and society will drastically be changed. Automation is now beginning to be implemented into many different jobs. Speech by Nixon talks about how work shouldn't dehuman how technology shouldn't dehumanize work. Technology is supposed to help people, but now it's replacing jobs. This shows a change in economic structure. A study on telehealth talks about how um, they are beginning to replace jobs in um, in the health area. This shows that in the future, many positions will actually be decreased. Um, then also, low wage jobs are starting to lose money, and the U.S. Council of Economic Advisors estimated that 83% of jobs paying less than 20 per hour could be automated, which shows how low wage jobs could be eliminated. Um, workers are losing their purpose. As jobs are turning to automation, workers begin to lose their purpose. Most people want to work and are miserable when they cannot. People who lose their jobs are more likely to suffer me mental and physical violence. This shows a loss of purpose because people are losing their purpose and they're also suffering mental problems, i.e. depression. People need work, but they have um, problems when they don't. Um, Mesner argues that um, people will, tech, robots will be working like dogs while people will just be feeding them. Um, this shows that we won't really have any jobs that actually challenge us and that we'll just be observing. Um, this shows a loss of purpose as well. And this is also supported by Thompson. He argues how people need work. And they want a purpose. He talks about the paradox of work, which people complain about work, but instead um, they feel less anxious in their workplace. And then this also helps support my other two points. All right. Society structure will change. As automation continues to grow and be implemented into the workplace, it will begin to change the structure of society. According to Erin Pearson, who spent 25 years looking at over future technology states that in, in the future, currency will be gone. Um, architecture and manufacturing jobs will be gone and jobs will be changed frequently. Um, this shows that um, with the little jobs we'll have and the jobs where we're just gonna be observing goes back to my other slide where we'll have little to no purpose. And with lots of jobs frequently changing, we're going to need lots of education to support this. So, um, like, we'll need lots of money and stuff. And middle class is being destroyed. Um, Mash Bosch, director of Ken Kennedy Institute for Information, talks about how technology is beginning to create a pol polarization in labor market. So the middle class is shrinking. Automation is getting serious. Society will be changed because we will have no middle class. Many people will be in the lower class because jobs will be replaced by robots and many people will be in poverty since there will be no jobs. All right. Many people argue though that automation is creating jobs. According to Bernstein, the robotic and Industry Association claims how a place which started automation rehired around a thousand workers to monitor the machines, but not all, all of the workers will be rehired, so many people still will be out of a job. 
Also, this also shares a loss of purpose since they'll just be monitoring um, robots, which they'll be no doing nothing challenging. With technology beginning to replace millions who are going to need to find solutions. Solution one was actually proposed by Bill Gates, and he says that we need to tax robots, and this would finance jobs for humans. And then solution two could stand alone or actually combine with solution one, where we should limit amount of robots each company should have. But some people may oppose to this because they may they have they have to make a profit, and also they got the robots for some reason, either to make a profit or to increase their production. Okay. Automation is replacing jobs, and people are losing their purpose due to change, due to losing their jobs, and our society is going to be drastically changed. We need a way to solve this, and we need a solution fast. Do we really want a world where we do nothing for days and end every single day? Thank you. Okay, a couple of questions for you, Mariah. Uh, the first one is, what, uh, sorry, excuse me, how did you handle the differing perspectives in order to reach a conclusion? All right, so I really wanted to do something economic, obviously, because, um, because it's um, impacting us economically. And I also wanted something socially since the workers would be um, losing their jobs. So I wanted to know like what impacted them. And I also wanted to do something with um, like how society would be changed. And I feel like the perspectives flowed well together since like they all connected to each other. Okay, um, and then your other question is, explain the level of certainty that you have about your conclusion, solution, or recommendation. Um, I think my solutions are um, pretty good because um, financing, well, taxing robots would lead to more money to us, which if we are being replaced by jobs, we could use that money for the poor and to help the people who lost their jobs. Also, limiting the amount of robots would be very beneficial, beneficial because um, people, robots would still um, be less and people would still be able to get many jobs. 